Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 12th of January and the current time is 7.55 in the evening. Now before we get into the video, I just want to wish you all a very belated Happy New Year. I do apologise that it's so late. Uh, but um, I will explain things as we get through the video, so as we go along with things I will explain because there's, there's multiple reasons behind it, but in short I've just not been in a good place mentally. So up and down like a yo-yo basically. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so today's video is just going to be like a little update basically. Um, cause I've got a new computer I want to show you. In fact, I've got three working computers I want to show you. Um, one of them is my new daily driver, so to speak. Yep, instead of just upgrading my old PC, as in upgrading the GPU, which it just needed, I bought a whole PC. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you that and talk about that later. But first, I want to get sad news out of the way. So it's done and dusted, then we can get into the video. So, a couple of my um, subscribers already know this. Um, but Little Nemo, my little ginger white ball of fluff, passed away, I can't remember now, it was, it was two weeks before Christmas, so four weeks ago, maybe five weeks ago, I've lost track. Um, yeah, it would have been four weeks yesterday, actually. So it would have been four weeks Tuesday the 11th of January. Um, yeah, he was getting old. Um, and he had a multitude of illnesses and things going wrong with him and it was the kindest thing to do you know he, I know for a fact the vet didn't tell me but I'm, I've, I knew for a fact that there was at least two incurable conditions that he had one of those I can't remember what the heck it's called now and I do believe just from the amount that he like to drink that his kidneys were failing as well because <clears throat> he did like to drink and he did like to urinate um, yeah and he'd start you know well he'd lost quite a lot of weight and didn't realize how much weight until I went to pick him up to take him to the vet and I just thought my god you are light so yeah fun fact he was, he was only my second pet. And my first one was a cat as well. Unfortunately, due to circumstances at the time, Mum had to um, take care of my first cat, because I can't remember how, but I became homeless. Yeah, I can't remember the full details off the top of my head at the minute, but it, it, I think, yeah, I did become homeless and had to go into a hostel I think you can't take pets to the hostel so mum took her in <clears throat> but yeah Nemo is actually the first pet I've actually you know had to do this hard thing with now I know I'm gonna get asked this because I've already been asked it would I get another cat my answer to that is I'm not gonna say no um, and what I mean by that is if the opportunity arose where I found a cat that needed a home or a kitten maybe I'd prefer you know to rescue a cat like a, an adult cat of like two to three years old same as Nemo was he was about three years old when I got him so I don't know that's just my preference I would prefer a rescued cat but of course they would have to be an indoor cat being up here in the flat <clears throat> So, I might check local animal shelters. I can go online and check them on there and see what's around and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say no. I would like a dog. It would be a lot of work being up in a flat like this, but it would be doable. I'd be up and down the stairs like a fiddler's elbow, though. <clears throat> But um, there's a big patch of grass out front that I could let it run around in. And there's also a large 
public park just across the way from here. So, you know, if I was willing to put in that much effort, which I think I would be, I could actually get it all. Anyway, I think I would actually go for a cat, because they're quite easy to look after. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Computers. Let's start with those, shall we? So, beginning of December, my brother decided to um, sell his computer. Um, because again, his, lots of circumstances and things have been changing lately. His has changed because <clears throat> um, he was laid off from his job, basically. Yeah, Covid's a bitch. <clears throat> it's affecting a lot of uh, industries and whatnot. Anyway, um, yeah, so he decided to sell his gaming rig and I decided to buy it now. His rig is, or what is, was, my rig. We'll call it my rig. It's a, uh, don't you just love it when you have a brain fart when it just completely goes to jelly? <laughs> Anyway, the computer I bought from him is an AMD Ryzen 5 3600. I'll stop and think for a second there. With a GeForce GTX 980 Ti for a GPU, 250 gig SanDisk SSD, which I put in. Um, I've also obviously got my hard drives in there. He kept his for his data, which didn't bother me because I thought I'm going to put mine in there anyway. I don't need them. Um, and 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Well, I don't know what the um, speed rating is of those. I haven't taken them out to look. And now that I've got it working and actually got it to boot on both sticks, I don't want to touch them. One of the issues my brother was having, he couldn't get it to boot or post with both the uh, four sticks of RAM um, fitted. But I managed to fix it. <laughs> I did have to poke around in the um, BIOS a little bit and tweak a couple of things, but it works. <laughs> so, don't touch. Um, I will just show you what it looks like. Not that there's a great deal to look at, but it's a new case and whatnot. There it is. An NZXT case. Don't know what the power supply is. I think I don't know what the brand is, but I'm pretty certain that's a 650 watt supply in there. And everything lights up. So you got the GeForce GTX. I'm hoping. Yeah, the RAM lights up. The wall block and the processor lights up. The fan on the radio <laughs> lights up. Yep, that's the first um, computer I've ever owned and used with liquid cooling. But yeah, that's the first one I bought from him. Let's get myself in shot again. Um, and that is actually the most expensive single PC I have ever bought. Um, oh. Must be a bit dirt on my finger or grit. Felt something sharp on the power cable. <clears throat> Didn't know if I was getting like a little... Well, I shouldn't get a tingle off it. It's only 12 volt, I think. Anyway getting distracted by a bloody cable. Yeah. Uh, do I tell you what I paid for it or not? I didn't pay for it in one lump sum. I had to do it over a few different payments. Um, but yeah, it was 550 That's what I paid for it. About the price of a new PS5 digital. If I remember correctly. Um, but I'm happy with it. It's playing the games I wanted to play now because originally I was just going to upgrade the GPU on my old Intel rig um, which my brother now owns <laughs> I don't know why he sold this one he should have just kept it but never mind um, <clears throat> yeah I've lost my thread again I lost the thread <laughs> twice in this video, going well. Um, I'm not restarting it again, though. Getting bored of having this light in my eyeballs. <clears throat> oh, 
oh yeah that was it I was talking about upgrading my old Intel yet yeah, it just needed a GPU it was only two gigs of GDDR3 RAM on it I think which played 98% of my games on Steam it you know it wasn't a bad card but there's a few games that I had that I couldn't play or was having a little bit of issue with and as well there was at least one upcoming game which has now been released um, that I wanted and wouldn't have been able to play on my old system and that was a uh, FNAF security breach um, so yeah I was just going to upgrade the GPU and then my brother decides to sell this one with GPU and everything in it and I thought let's just upgrade to a Ryzen <laughs> <clears throat> so there she is I'm happy she's working fine I've got a couple of monitors with it one's actually behind you it's a Fujitsu there was actually two of those but one had a smashed screen I've also got a Lenovo monitor in the kitchen but I don't know where the power supply is for that it could be somewhere in the shed at mum's in one of God knows how many boxes belonging to my brother so I'll just have to when I'm feeling up to it you know, go for a dig in the shed <clears throat> I don't even know what I'm looking for to be honest <laughs> I might just have to guess um, but he also decided to sell a bunch of his um, other computers and cases and other accessories and bits as well so once I'd paid for this one I then started the process of paying for the lot, next lot um, which I think he asked 400 for and that was two, three working computers so basically a hundred each for the computers and with their specs and at, at least with what one of them had GPU wise it was well worth that um, actually all three of them were worth that I think no actually he didn't charge me a hundred for one of them it was less than that <clears throat> But yeah, 400 in total, and my old rig went down as part payment for that, so I'm going to give him some more cash tonight when, I, when that money goes in. Joys of being on ESA and PIP, you only get it like, PIP you get one uh, once a month, and ESA you get once every two weeks. But uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, I will pause the camera in a minute and shuffle around because everything else is in the kitchen. Um, I've also decided I'm going to sell a few computers. In fact I sold one today. I sold my other AMD build because I thought I don't need it. I've got this AMD build now. I've got the Ryzen. I don't need two AMD builds. If I'm going to have two main computers I'd rather have one AMD and one Intel build so I want to go for another Intel build. I've got some various i7s through there and whatnot, but no decent motherboard. So, I'm not in any rush to build another computer, but that could be a project for later in the year. I don't know why, I've just always wanted one of each, just because. That's it, just because I can. <laughs> don't need two computers. Anywho, um... Yeah, I think it would be easy for me to just show you the other computers and uh, whatnot rather than try and explain it all. Um, oh, before I just pause the camera for a bit, does anyone know what this is? It's got Radeon on it. It's actually got Radeon R5 written on it. But there's no ports on it. It goes in the PCIe slot. Is it like a, a graphics booster or something? No boost the um, onboard graphics. I have absolutely no idea. I've never seen one. That's the first time I've seen one. I know it does work. My brother was using it on a computer because it came with it. Anyway, I'm just going to pause this. Um, there's a few things I'm going to go do and basically get the other machines ready. And uh, I'll be back. Right. We're back. I'm in the kitchen. And... Uh, Let's get cracking. Right, more computers. 
So, I just need to move you around a bit. Here's the first one. See if I can get you a little bit further back. Right. <clears throat> it's an HP something or other. HP Pavilion bow. It's got it on the front. There's probably a model number on it somewhere. Um, now, this one did turn on. Um, but it had a couple of issues. The first one was I couldn't find any RAM to work with it. <laughs> Turns out this machine is extremely fussy on what RAM you put in here. It does work now. I did find a 4GB stick to shove in here. But it's the only one out of all this RAM here. There's all of this. This is all DDR3. So out of all of the, this... And this, only that one decides to work. Um, then it had another problem where it wasn't recognising a hard drive being connected or an SSD or anything like that. That turned out I just had to tweak a few things in the BIOS. So this is actually an up and running, well I say an up and running system, I can make it into an up and running system. I wouldn't use that though because it's only a 64 gig SSD. Um, but yeah, that hard drive's got to come out because it is broken, doesn't work. Um, I don't actually know what the processor is on this one. Uh, there's nothing special. I don't know what to do with this one. I might just take that dead hard drive out and see if I can get 10, 20 quid as it is. Don't know yet. I don't have a use for a small PC like this. I've got another one that I do want to use off camera at the minute. So, yeah, let's just pull this one out of the way then. Oh, put it on the floor for now. I've got a few things down there as well. But I'm going to show you. But I got this one off my brother. He sort of threw this one in as a freebie. Um, it's what he used to use to test motherboards and systems with. Because uh, before they moved, when they were living down the road here, he used to buy the odd um, cheap system or cheap case or a cheap motherboard bundle and build it all into a computer and flip it, basically. But that was like his little test drive, if you like. It's got Windows 10 on it. It does work. Um, I've got this as well, which is apparently for the computer I've got in the lounge for that Ryzen system. If I wanted to change it for a passive cooler like this one. Um, so I thought I might as well. I am tempted because I'm not overly convinced with liquid cooling yet. Although I've not had any problems with that one. So don't fix what ain't broke sort of thing. And then there's this cooler. Which is missing the fixing bracket for it. I can't remember if he said he bought this one on eBay or Marketplace, but either way, the seller didn't include the fixing bracket and never replied to him. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find one. Maybe. Who knows? Right. Now, a couple of sticks of DDR3 there that I haven't tested yet. But I think... <laughs> I couldn't get this into a DDR3 board, that might be a DDR4 or DDR2. One or other. So I'm going to keep those separate. Now here's another working machine. This one is actually a fully working machine. Um, it's a Dell Inspiron. Is there a model number on it? No, it's actually got a um, laptop style disk drive stuck in the front. Uh, USB 3, card reader, head. Phone? Yeah, headphone. There's no mic port on the front. Um, and there's no PS2 connections for mouse or keyboard. It is just um, USB. But there is four on the back. USB 2s though. It does have HDMI on the back. As well as VGA. Uh, I think this has got 8 gigs of RAM in it. 
obviously I didn't put the screws in. You take that cover off and then hopefully, if I can remember how to do it. Oh yeah, I can't open that because I'm to take that bit off. Now, I'll just put this little sort of video adapter in there. Because at first I thought I need that because I didn't realise it had VGA on the back. For what I want to use this for, I may need VGA, so I stuck this adapter on it. Which has actually got HDMI, VGA and DVI on it, so... <clears throat> it's not going to need you know, a massive amount of graphic processing, so that's fine. Not for what I plan to use this for anyway, which is in the bedroom. Which I will talk about later, so otherwise I'll get sidetracked on a different topic. This is going to be perfect. Right. Now, there is two cases that I can't show you because they're not here, they're still over at Mum's, and there might even be a few other bits lurking around. There's another SSD. I don't know where all these SSDs came from. It's three. That one came out of the um, AMD build I sold for data and whatnot. I can't remember what size is it. Can't see without taking off. I can't see the label. And of course, I took the hard drive out as well. So I'm sure there's another SSD laying about here somewhere. That one's got SSD in, which is good. Oh yeah, this one originally came with this in it. So I thought I'd keep hold of that one as a spare. Um, if there's anything else in there. No, the Lenovo's on the floor. One empty case that I could show you. The third computer is actually related to this empty case. If you just bear with me a moment, please. I'll grab it. So I've got this funky little case now. Now, oh, I've still got a hard drive in it. Um, this was the third working computer I got from my brother in that job lot, um, which I was going to give to a friend of mine. He wanted a proper, he's only using a laptop. He wanted something he could uh, play games and whatnot on, um, especially two-player games or multiplayer games like Phasmophobia so we could play it together because his laptop won't run that. But um, he wanted a computer case with um, DVD drive fitted so he could play CDs and whatnot. And obviously there is nowhere in here to fit one. See? Same as my case in there, my uh, Bryzen case. It doesn't have a DVD drive fitted. So, oh, I know what bloody SSD is missing. My old 120 gig one, 128 gig one from my old system. It's around here somewhere. Could be buried under a pond of crap that's over here, actually. That wouldn't surprise me. Something's just gone in the recycle bin. <laughs> Yeah, so I recased it for him with a case I had. So I've now got a funky little case here. I've got another funky little case over at Mum's, plus an older case, you know, with a top mounted power supply. And yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do anything with that case. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this one. I mean, I've got a motherboard over here I could use. I've still got this one if I get a processor for it. I mean, it was working, but um, gave the processor my little brother to use. I think I'm hoping that socket has not got damaged. I know there's some dust in it. I think it has, you know. Yep. I can actually see a bent pin. Don't know if I'm going to be able to straighten it. So maybe I don't have a motherboard to put in this and I don't find one in the cupboard below you. Um, well that's the reason I want this up here as well. I want to put the side covers back on the bloody thing. So they're having them all over the kitchen. Yeah, 
So I've got that PC built up and gave it to my friend as a Christmas present. Uh, I think, yeah, that one's the HP one. This one, I believe, it's not sliding around in there. No idea what hard drive that is in there. I've got plenty of them. Try and push that down and on. Get on that. Get on. Yeah. Now, I'm sure cable management can be just as much a pain in the ass sometimes as it is a benefit. Let's just put these uh, thumb screws back in. Find the correct screw hole as well. Right. So, shall we discuss plans for the flat while I sort this out? I'm going to put the cover back on the HP as well. Um, so, I still want to uh, get these all boarded up. The problem is at the minute, the prices of plywood and MDF and whatnot is ridiculously high so I'm a bit reluctant to um, get it but at the same time I want to get them done um, so I get them all painted and whatnot and looking nice and I've got some doors as well there at mum's cover back off. I just look down. Just look down at the worktop. For all that light in here that can rattle around in there. There we go. In fact the HP can go under the worktop behind me in the keep pile. Oh what else did I mind? Oh I'm gonna talk about workbenches in a minute as well. Whee! So that is just a project case. <clears throat> I don't decide to um ow. get rid of the case as it is. Um, I've got a screwdriver up here. I have. I'm just gonna take this hard drive out because otherwise I'll forget and then forget it's a dead drive. It's weird that the SAR cables are connected with this little grinding wire. I've never seen any done like that before. Does anyone know why that might be? There's uh, both of them in here are like that. Because this has only got space for two hard drives. That's a one terabyte drive as well. I may try that on a different board before I get rid of it because you never know do you know where I put these screws or are they just it's going to have to roll around there aren't they let the other one go there it is Ooh. and the side cover um, oh it's got a captive screw for the side cover It's got the little lock thing on the bottom here as well. Oh yeah. Didn't even know they still did that in cases. Put the little. I suppose on cases like this that are designed for office use, they would, wouldn't they? It'd stop people stealing stuff from the inside, like hard drives and uh, RAM. Right. Oh yeah. Got that stacked over here as well. Um, and there is a PSU somewhere, but I have no idea where I've put it. <laughs> or did, no, I think I left that over at Mum's, but there's a few other bits. That isn't part of it. Here's some of the cables for the PSU that I've got over at Mum's. It's just um, it's a modular type, as you can see. And the bag of bits, which I think for the NZXT case in there. Processor bits, 
some more bits for the NZXT case, including cable ties for cable management. Splitter cable for fan, maybe? Looking at those. More odd screws and whatnot in here. Got a little bit of thermal paste there as well. I didn't know that was in the box. Uh, there's not really a lot else in there. There's some more various PC screws and things that he'd collected up. Just a box of bits. That might be handy. Especially if I decide to change that cooler. Let's chuck that in there. No, nope. I'm going to leave that there because that can go in the box below me. That can go in there though. Kitchen knife can go in the sink. Watch that. Um. <clears throat> Another thing. This was mine originally and I gave it to him again as a, a test video card. It's nothing special, it's only an old gigabyte. But we call it Old Faithful because it has done a lot of testing and has been, a, been with me and my brother for quite a few years. <clears throat> and I've said that, that probably won't work. And a motherboard. An HP motherboard. That looks like it needs um, an HP OEM type power supply because <clears throat> it hasn't got the standard connectors on it. It has for the PM, the um, CPU, a standard four pin there, but that is it. <clears throat> I don't think I'll keep that board. I'll, I'll try and figure out what computer that goes to, then I might just have it on eBay. <clears throat> I might actually have to go and get my drink out of the la um, lounge. Right. So, I think the bedroom is next. Let's just uh, get you straightened up. Let's look at the wall for a minute while I straighten you up. There we go. Turn these lights off. <clears throat> Let's go to the lounge and gather a few, not gather a few bits, get my drink. Oh yeah. That Dell XPS is going to be sold. I don't want that one. And I might recase that Windows 98 there into a smaller, more manageable case because that is big, bulky and gets in the way. As much as I really do like that case, I might try that one up on Marketplace or something. Right, it's going to be a bit dark for a minute until I get the switch. There we go. So, at some point, this will all be cleared and it will be used as the workbench, which is what I actually intended it to be used for in the first place. You know, so I could use it as a workbench to do all the model railway stuff on. I could probably build my Lego on it when I buy sets. That would actually be great to build them on there. I've got that light up there, you know, a nice big light, bright light. But I was thinking if I'm going to do all that here, you know, and restore my die cast and whatnot, whatever I want to do on this bench, it'd be handy to have either a computer or a laptop in here so I can search things up as, when and if I need to which is what I'm going to use that little Dell for. I've got a laptop, but it needs a lot of work. Um, so I just decided I would use the Dell. It's ready, it's working. I've just got to plug it in with a monitor and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it means I'll have to take the monitor and everything off at the end there when I get the railway down, but the chances are I'm going to have to clear all of this whenever I want the railway down anyway so I don't think it's going to make much difference to be honest um, a 
couple of old bike wheels for scrap. I've got to get those back down to the shed. I've been fixing bikes lately, <clears throat> trying to whittle down the list. Um, my bike, my hybrid, needed repairs. My friend's bike needed more repairs than it did when it first got here because someone decided to vandalise it while it was out back waiting for repairs. I actually do know who did it. They don't know I know, but I know who did it. Anywho, I've got tools laying about here that I need putting away. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I've got some... It's just too cold and wet this time of year to do it outside. But yes, I'll get all that taken down. Those wheels are scrap, they ain't no good. I don't know why I kept them in the first place. Um, I've got a tub of bike bits in here to go down as well. Um, I decided to have a bit of a play. <laughs> Yay! Lego trains! There's one, two, three, four trains technically and two locomotives There's two locomotives over the back there Got one more that's not out here yet <clears throat> but it is all working there's actually two different lots of track you'll notice this one's got metal contact on it because that's for the old 1990s 9 volt system which is what that one there is and those two over there <clears throat> And the rest is all battery operated. So this loop in the middle, this little one, is actually ran from that controller which is actually plugged into the mains. Um, but yeah, that one, that one, and that one are battery. <clears throat> in fact, I bought that one over Christmas. That's a very recent purchase, that one. With track, box and everything, I ditched the box because it was quite beat up and I don't have room for boxes like that anyway. Um, yeah, that was actually a, a good price for what it was. So a couple of bits I had to change and a couple of bits that were missing, but you know, for what I paid, I'm not going to complain. Not when I've got shit tons of bits behind me. <clears throat> uh, but what I'm planning to do As, um, I don't really want to put a bit well I could if I wanted to put a big old city back in this lounge and go back to you know how the lounge was before Fluffy House SOS came along but quite frankly I like having that there and I like having those there even though they're just dumping grounds at the minute um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a low no higher than that window ledge bench in there no wider than the base plates two of those base plates that these buildings sit on so, how can I explain it these we call studs so the way we measure things with Lego is how many studs wide or long it is so these are on base plates that are 32 studs by 32 studs so the 32 studs in both directions so I don't want the base to be any more wider than two of these so I've got a row for buildings and a row for the road that's all I want because I've got an itch to build one of the reasons I've got the railway out on the floor and I want to scratch it so um, I don't know if I'll actually put a railway line on it might be a bit difficult <laughs> It'd be an end-to-end, -end, which would make, you know, playing around with it a bit boring, in my opinion. But I could do it if I wanted to. Have it running around the back or something. Or we'll just make it a smidge wider, like two and a half of those base plates. But you do get 32 stud by 16 stud plates as well. And I could just put a little track. Because I was going to make it, like, L-shaped. So it comes up to there and then comes down that bit. And then perhaps stand the stereo underneath it up the corner and whatnot. Might have to rehome that uh, display case right there and has a CD case right next to it that I could actually leave where it is actually, I think. If it's lower than the window ledge, or just make it a little bit higher. Let's just have a look. How tall is it? 
I could go a smidge higher just to cover that. It'd be just a, probably a smidge higher than the um, radiator and window sill over there, but that's not going to matter, is it? I'll have to move that over there and just have a measure up at some point. That's going to be fun to move with all those cars on there, isn't it? I'll take those all off. No. Oh, pardon me. I tried to hold that one back. <laughs> I do apologise. It didn't work. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just plan to do like just a little L-shaped bench, if you like. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with that bollard. I might actually sell that and get rid of it. It's a novelty lamp. As much as I like it, it gets in the way and I haven't really got anywhere to put it. If I shove it down in the shed somewhere. Oh, you need a dust. Or dusting, I should say. Should I be worried that that little laptop table is leaning down that way? It's sort of... I mean... There's virtually no weight in that tub that's on top of it, so it shouldn't be leaning like that. I wonder if something's come loose at the bottom there. Oh, that was a Lego thing I got for Christmas as well. I need to build up and sort out. And I did treat myself a couple of weeks before Christmas, three weeks before Christmas, I think. Four weeks? Something like that. To Ecto-1, which was actually brand new, in sealed box, hadn't been opened, but it was still expensive at 140 quid. But, to buy that from Lego Direct, brand new, it was 179.99. <clears throat> and uh, I actually like these Creator Expert sets, I want to buy more of them this year. Just because I'm finding them so much more fun to build and more of a challenge. Yeah, I like my little Lego C sets, I like my Speed Champion cars, but I can build those little sets in like half an hour to an hour. Quick and easy. So, I do really want to get, I'm hoping, to get a Lego Creator set at least once a month. Maybe once every couple of months, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> and it could be a car, or it could be like one of those buildings up there, because they're the creator expert as well. Um, for some reason, the number of parts stuck in my head for that Ecto-1, and it's 2,352 pieces. That's a lot of pieces of plastic to build that car, but it is a very large one as well. It's actually bigger, or at least longer, and my Stang up there, and the Aston Martin. I think I might try and collect up a few of the um, retired sets for the Creator vehicles that I liked, like the Mini. I didn't get to um, buy the Mini, or the Fiat 500, or the Volkswagen Camper. And the only problem is, now that they're retired sets, they're not going to be any cheaper than what they were brand new. If anything, they're going to cost more than what they did when they were new. The one disadvantage with being into Lego, ideally if you want a set you've got to get it while Lego still produce it because that's probably the cheapest you're ever going to get it. Unless you get lucky like I did with Ecto-1 but I can guarantee as soon as they retire Ecto-1 price is going to shoot up for one of those. And that's actually the second one Lego has done. The first one was a Lego Ideas one which is smaller than that. Anywho, I'm just rambling, I think. I can't think of anything else. I guarantee, as soon as I shut this camera off, I'm going to think of something. And then think, oh, I'll redo the video and add that in. I'm not going to this time. This is just going up as it is. Um, yeah, because it's been like close to an hour, if not an hour. Right, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And uh, I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.